Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Corinne. Welcome to the updated glowy skin tutorial. So, as you read by the title, I've changed up my foundation routine. Man, it's been a long time coming. I came to the realization recently that matte foundation is not flattering. It's not natural looking and it's just, it's just not flattering. Some people can pull it off, but for me, I feel like if somebody has a nice natural glow, their skin looks healthier and their makeup looks prettier. So I decided I'm gonna ditch my matte foundation because it doesn't look very good on me. It tends to look pretty cakey and not cute. I decided to go on the hunt for a new radiant glowy foundation and I ended up picking up the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So if you wanna see how I get my skin to look beautiful like this, then obviously just keep watching. I don't know why anyone says this in their video. I've been trying not to say it. I don't know how to end my intros, so I always default to go ahead and keep on watching. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to end my intros and get into my actual tutorial or video, please let me know down below. All right guys, let's just get started. So for primer lately, I have been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So this is a primer and moisturizer in one. I know I've talked about this before. So I just feel like the first step to having actual glowy, radiant skin is to make sure that your skin is moisturized. So before I did my eyes today, I did put moisturizer on, so my face is already nice and moisturized, but then going in with this is gonna help moisturize even more. Another really good primer that I would recommend if you're wanting to go for a glowy look is the Becca Backlight Priming filter, I think is what it's called. It's one of my all-time favorite primers. I've gone through like three bottles of it, but lately I have just been having really extremely dry skin, dry patches everywhere. So I've been wanting to double up on my moisturizer and that's why I've been loving this one so much. So next I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Professionals primer. So this is pretty matte. I would never use it all over my face, especially because I want more of a glowy look. So I'm only going to stick it in the places that my pores are the biggest. So right here is a trouble area for me. And then a little bit on my forehead. So my new Holy Grail foundation, and yes, it's only one because you guys know I'm the queen of mixing foundations but I recently picked up the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So this claims to wear for 16 hours and not budge and not move. And I wouldn't say that that claim is completely true. It did seem to break up a little bit around my T-zone, but that usually happens with all of my foundations. So to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I do think that the wear time on this foundation is really good. And I love how it's a natural finish because that's what I'm looking for. I want a glow to natural finish. I am done with mattes. I know I said that in my intro, but mattes are just so unflattering, so unnatural, and I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with them. So this foundation right here, definitely pick it up. It's new by NARS. Their shade range is incredible, and I bought mine at Ulta. Okay, so this is the foundation applied all over my face. You can tell that it does have this beautiful natural glow and sheen to it. It's not super dewy or super glowy. I just think it looks really natural and beautiful. But for concealer, I am still using Shape Tape. I do plan on switching over to the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer, I think is what it's called. Um, but when I was at Ulta buying this foundation, they didn't have my shade. And I still have a lot of shape tape to use up before I do switch over to a different concealer. So there's nothing wrong with shape tape. It's the best concealer that I've tried so far. But I feel that it's just so matte. And um, I don't know. I think I just want to switch it up. Okay, so I'm only going to be setting the parts of my face that I concealed and I am gonna be using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to do that. Okay, so I just set the areas that I concealed and I won't be setting any other part of my 
face. I will be putting a little bit of powder underneath my bronzer just to clean it up, but I feel like when you apply a glowy or radiant foundation like this one, I feel like it kind of defeats the whole entire purpose of having the radiant foundation when you go in and set your whole entire face with powder. So ever since I got this foundation, I've only been setting certain areas of my face, and I do find that my foundation still looks really pretty and it doesn't come off or anything like that. This foundation does claim to last 16 hours, like I said before, so I feel like it already does have those properties in it that would allow your foundation to stick on your face without powder. So for bronzer, I'm changing it up, guys. I'm really changing it up here, and I'm gonna be using NARS Liquid Bronzer in Laguna. So I've had this product for a while and I never used it. I just never used it. And recently I decided to give it a try and I was absolutely obsessed with the results. So I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it. It is beautiful. I also own the Laguna powder too, so I guess if I wanted to go over the top of it with the Laguna powder, I could. But I do love the natural and beautiful glowy finish that it gives with just the liquid. First of all, I just pump it onto my hand like I do with all of my products. And I stick my finger in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it on right here. And then I'm gonna take a different sponge that I use to apply my foundation just because I don't clean my sponges every day. And if I were to use the same sponge, it would affect the color of my foundation when I apply it. So using a different sponge and I'm just gonna blend it into my skin. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left on my finger and stick it around my forehead. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other side and then I will go back and intensify some parts of the bronzer. So as you can see, this bronzer blends out beautifully. It looks super natural and radiant and glowy and that's what I'm going for. So now what I am gonna do is dip into my Giorgio Mami Luminous Silk Powder Compact and I'm just going to push the product right under my bronzer just to clean it up a little bit. So this isn't gonna have the same effect as baking will because baking is a little bit more intense, but this will help clean the bronzer up a little bit. And then like I said before, you could definitely go in with a powder bronzer on top of this just to make it more intense or if you want to set it in some sort of way. But for me, I just leave it like this and go ahead with either blush and highlight or just highlight on top. So today I am going to skip the blush and I'm just gonna go straight into highlight. And I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. Now I don't know if this is still available. I know that the Sugar Glow Kit is available, but this one I bought in the summertime um, and I've fallen back in love with it. So I just use these two shades right here. So Summer and Moonstone, and I mix them together and they are absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful. I am a fan of the fan brush. I know a lot of people hate fan brushes. I love them. So I also feel like since I didn't set my bronzer in any type of way and it is still kind of tacky, I guess you could say, my highlight actually sticks and blends into the skin a lot more beautifully. So that's definitely a plus. So my new favorite thing has been to highlight right here on the sides of my forehead. And then of course I have to hit the nose. But do you see that? Like see how intense that looks? My highlight never looks that intense first application. I usually do like a dry application first on top of my matte foundation, which I used to wear. And then I would go in with Fix Plus or some sort of setting spray, wait for it to get a little more tacky and then apply more highlighter and then it would look this intense. But now I don't even have to do that step and it looks amazing. So this is what my highlight looks like. First application, I didn't wet any brushes, nothing, and I'm actually gonna leave it like this. And I'm not gonna do a second layer because it looks beautiful as is. So now what I'm gonna do is finish up my eyes and then I will apply lips and then we'll be done. So now I am going to go in with my Fix Plus and set my face. And lately I've actually been into glosses and natural finish lipsticks, so cream lipsticks. I love mattes of course, they'll always have a special place in my heart, but I am really shifting towards the creams and the glosses. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade natural. I've used this a million times on my channel and a million times on my Instagram. I just can't get enough of this stuff. 
It's beautiful and I love it. So that guys completes this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's super simple to achieve. It all just depends on what kind of products you're using and how well you're moisturizing your face. So I do believe that I'm gonna stick with this routine. I don't plan on going back to matte foundation anytime soon. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. If you can, go pick it up. It is $49, so it is a little bit on the spendy side. But for me, it's really important to have good looking skin, a good looking match, and a good looking foundation. So I was okay with spending this amount to find a foundation that I absolutely love. So for now, this is my holy grail. Another really amazing foundation if you're looking for natural radiant glowy skin is the hourglass vanish stick foundation I've gone through I've gone through one of them and I have another one right now but I feel like it does not come with a lot of product and it is really expensive so I only use that on special occasions so this one is my go-to for now. But anyways, guys, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, all right, down there. You're here on this video, you made it to the end. Might as well just stick around and hang out with me and watch my upcoming videos. So yeah, and also make sure that you're following me on all my social medias. I always put them right here on the screen. And link them down below as well. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.